Now that we've multiplied and divided and added and subtracted with integers, we're ready to look at how order of operations works into integers. The thing we want to remember with order of operations and integer is this symbol, the hyphen, means not just negative, not just subtraction, but also opposite at the same time. They all mean the same thing. They're all synonyms. And if we keep that in mind as we work with the order of operations, it'll help us simplify a problem. Speaking of the order, the order with integers is still the same as before. We'll use please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remind us to do parentheses first, then the exponents, then we'll multiply and divide, and finally at the end, we'll add and subtract from left to right with those last two. So let's take a look at an example which involves some negatives and some order of operations. And if we keep in mind PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we know we're going to start with the parentheses. And what we have inside parentheses is 5 minus 7. So let's do that first. This gives us negative 6 minus 5 minus 7 is negative 2 cubed plus negative 4 squared. Now that all the parentheses are simplified, we go to the exponents. We have an exponent on the negative 2 and the negative 4. This gives us negative 6 minus negative 2 cubed. Because the negative 2 is cubed, it's an odd exponent, so we get a negative answer, and 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 2 times 2. Plus, negative 4 squared, because we have an even exponent, we know the answer is positive, and 4 squared is 16. There isn't any multiplication and division on this problem, so we'll move on to adding and subtracting, which we can do from left to right. So starting on the left, negative 6 minus negative 8. We don't like to subtract, so we'll add the opposite of negative 8, which is positive 8. And now we see negative 6 and positive 8, different signs, so the bigger one keeps the sign with addition, the positive 8. And we subtract the numbers, 8 minus 6 is 2, plus 16. And finally, 2 plus 16 gives us our final answer of 18. And we're done. Let's try one more problem that uses negatives in the order of operations. This problem looks like a fraction. Remember, a fraction has those invisible parentheses around the numerator and denominator, or the top and the bottom. So let's simplify the top and bottom separately, and then we'll put them together to make our fraction. The top is negative 4 squared, minus 4 plus 2 times 3. Inside the parentheses first, we'll multiply, giving us negative 4 squared, minus 4 plus 6. Still working the parentheses, so we get negative 4 squared, minus 4 plus 6 is 10. Next come the exponents. Remember, the exponent's only going to square the 4. The minus means opposite, so we have the opposite of 4 squared, or 16, minus 10. And finally, adding the opposite will give us negative 36 for our numerator. Oop, 26, sorry, 26. Let's look at the bottom. The bottom was 5 plus 3 times 4 minus 5. Doing the parentheses first, we get 5 plus 3 times negative 1. Next, order of operations asks us to multiply the 3 times negative 1, giving us 5, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And finally, 5 minus 3 is 2. Once we've simplified the numerator and the denominator, the top and the bottom, we put them together, negative 26 over 2. And because a fraction bar really just means to divide negative 26 by 2, a negative divided by a positive, we know is a negative, and 26 divided by 2 is 13. And we have our final solution.